A ticking clock, the sound of time, peaceful, hypnotic, unless it is marking the elapsed time before help arrives. Moments ticking away before that person, stricken with a stroke, suffers the damage that can be beyond repair. Is it the sound of a ticking clock or a ticking time bomb? Doctors have long told us that for stroke patients, the faster the response, the more likely the chances of a good recovery. Today we know that two million brain cells die each minute after a stroke. And so it is imperative that 911 call must be made immediately. No waiting to see if the patient feels better in a few minutes. No driving them to the hospital ourselves. Let the professionals take over and give the patient help fast. Until recently, speed was our only ally. And even though we know that every moment counts, until now there has been no therapy option which tries to tackle stroke at the earliest time possible. Responders arrive, check the vital signs, and get that patient to the nearest hospital stat. But what if they could do more? What if the first responders could actually start a new life-saving treatment even before the patient reached the hospital? That what if, plus many years of international education and experience in stroke treatment and brain ultrasound, have brought this stroke specialist to the development of a portable therapeutic device called BURL, an acronym for Brain Ultrasound Research Laboratory. Meet Dr. Tilo Hulsher of the University of California, San Diego, a board-certified neurologist and one of the designers of a treatment that combines the therapeutic effects of ultrasound with the perfusion of a substance called microbubbles. What's more, this unique combination of modalities is so compact and affordable, it could ultimately be part of the regular equipment carried by first responders just as is a cardiac defibrillator. Here's how it works. Coming to the aid of a stricken individual who appears to be a stroke victim, the provider, as always, starts an IV line. Then he attaches these disposable ultrasound probes to the skull and starts the ultrasound device. So in the near future, what I would envision is that you have small devices which are of the size of an, of an iPhone, which disposable ultrasound transducer, which you patch to the temporal bone like you patch an EKG patch to the chest, and then you start a treatment right there. Until relatively recently, conventional ultrasound was not thought to be powerful enough to produce a therapeutic effect because of the density and thickness of the bone. But now it will accomplish two purposes. First, ultrasound will break up a blood clot, which is the most common cause of a stroke, and reopen the occluded artery. Second, it will improve the microperfusion of the affected brain area to keep the tissue damage as small as possible. The ultrasound energies used to accomplish these effects will be within the safety limits for diagnostic ultrasound, as suggested by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. And so these millions of tiny microbubbles coursing through the veins via the IV line not only help to break up the blood clot which has caused the stroke and to preserve the tissue at risk, but also they enhance the power and efficacy of the ultrasound, thereby allowing it to be used with significantly less energies. Remember, first responders and other emergency medical experts must size up the patient's condition in an instant. So if it turns out this patient has not had a stroke, neither the ultrasound nor the infusion of microbubbles has any ill effect. The Burl device can actually start stroke treatment before the patient is transported to the hospital and it is portable, affordable, and simple to use. Think of the life-saving possibilities just within our own country, where typically hospitals and medical centers can be only minutes away, such as in big cities, or hours away, such as in the farmlands of the Midwest. Remember now, two million brain cells die each minute after a stroke. But now we realize what worldwide implications there are. 
For those in low or middle income countries, 85% of stroke victims die because help is long delayed or simply because therapeutic options are not available. On a global level, 85% of the world's population resides in low or middle income countries. So this portable device, used by well-trained emergency physicians, paramedics, or EMTs, has the potential to preserve the brain tissue and reopen the occluded brain vessel of a stroke victim by non-invasive perfusion of ultrasound that is enhanced by microbubbles. Since 1992, physicians have been using ultrasound to visualize brain vessels through the dense bones of the skull. And now, with proper funding to move more quickly into clinical trials, with essential monetary support from the private sector, Dr. Holscher and his colleagues will accelerate the translation into human trials and make the Burl device available to all. The diagnosis of stroke is not a simple task. And now there is a device with the potential to improve any stroke situation without causing harm if it is not a stroke. The clock is ticking. One, two, three, four.